Hey guys, so today I have a tutorial for you guys and I'm really excited to do this tutorial. I've been meaning to do it for a couple of weeks. I know I haven't filmed a video in a while, I know, but I did post a video the other day, my skincare routine. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it below. Um, so yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. This is a look that I created using the Coastal Scents Original 88 palette and I think it is a great look to wear it to school or to work or you can um, intensify it for going out in the evening. So yeah, we're just going to get started. And I'm going to show you the colors that I use so I don't have to keep um, pointing to them throughout the tutorial. So first color we're going to use is this color right here, third down um, in the second row. It's a pretty like light brown color. And then the next one we're going to use is on this very end row, fifth down, and it's a very, it's a darker brown and it's really shimmering, really pretty. And then we're going to use this black color down here. So we're going to get started. So first we're going to take a flat shader brush. I'm using Elf's flat shader brush. And we're going to pick up that first light brown color. And then we're simply going to pack it all over the eyelid using a tapping motion to really pack the color. Hang on, I'm going to zoom in a bit here. There we go. And you can just put as much as you need to to build that color up. Okay, so next we're going to use the same brush and we're just going to flip it over and pick up that darker brown color. And we're going to put this on the outer half of the eyelid. And then we're just going to blend it over by flipping over the brush a couple of times and just mixing the colors back and forth a bit. Okay, so next we're going to take a crease brush. I'm using Elf's crease brush, and we're going to take that black color, and we're just going to tap it in like that, not take very much. And then we're just going to slowly place that black into the crease, um, not the crease, the outer corner. And like I said, you can put as much black on as you want. I'm just doing a little to um, enhance that outer corner. And this looks a bit messy, but we'll blend it out. Okay. So next we're going to take a fluffy brush and we're just going to blend out the edges of that black a bit. Just like this. And then we're going to lightly feather some of that brown into the black to blend it out. Okay, next we're going to move into the highlight color. And the first color I'm using is this top white color. And I'm going to put it on the tip of my brush and then just pack it into the outer corner to blend to brighten up the inner corner a bit. And then next we're going to take the color below that onto the tip of the brush. We're just going to place it under the eye, arch of the eyebrow. Okay, so that's it for eyeshadow. Next, we're going to line our upper lash line. And for this, I like to take a, just a pencil eyeliner, and I'm using Rimmel London's Exaggerate. And I'm just going to thinly line them just to define the lash line a bit. Um, 
But for this, you also can take like a gel liner or a felt tip liner and really make an exaggerated line if you want to. Um, if you want to make it a little more dramatic. But I think uh, using this pencil brush here makes this um, an easier look to wear like to school and throughout the day. Although it's a bit harder to put pencil liner on the top of your lid. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to line our lower lower lash line. Okay. So next we're going to take our favorite mascara and I'm using L'Oreal's Voluminous Carbon Black. I just picked this up the other day and I really like it. Um, the brush is a little different than I'm used to. Um, but I really like it. It really gets in between your lashes and it coats it really nicely. Okay, now that the eyes are done, next we're going to take some blush and I'm using Clinique's Blush in New Clover. And it looks like this. Now it looks a little dark, um, but when you apply it, it's just this really soft color that you can barely tell is there. And I'm going to take um, Eco Tools blush brush and I'm just going to tap it into it. And this color, I find I have to really pack the color on. to get it to show up. And I have mascara on my cheek. And so next we're gonna take a lip color. Now you can go a couple different ways for lip color. You could take a like corally red color like this from Rimmel London. This is Rosette. And it's just this really pretty red color but it looks a bit more corally on. Or you can take a pink lip gloss like this, and this is uh, Revlon's Pink Pop, which is what I'm going to use today. And so yeah, that's the look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, Check out my blog for a full list of products and pictures of the finished look, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.